ranking the, t the 2024 F1 car liveries, P10. So P10 I've gone with Alpine, their car is pretty much all black. They've gone for bare carbon fibre completely on the car and they all excited us with the second car, which turned out to be pretty much exactly the same, but pink. So the car launch was awful, the car liveries awful. To be honest, if Mercedes went all black, like they did last year, I think we'd all struggle to tell which is which. It can't lie, it's such a bad car. P9, I have gone with Haas. So Haas has launched pretty much exactly the same car as last year. They were the first team to launch their car. There's a bit more black on it, but overall, it's pretty much the same as last year. And I can't really say that's bad. I, I quite like their livery last year, but other teams have done better with their cars. But as it's the same as last year, I'm going to go with Haas in second to last in ninth. P8, Red Bull. So Red Bull, this is going to be the only list where you're probably not going to be number one this season. And it's a livery because you've gone exactly the same livery for the second year running. Third year running, actually. 2022, 2023, 2024 liveries, all exactly the same. And that's just really, really lazy. I mean, Mercedes, Ferrari, um, McLaren have all changed something different with their livery. Red Bull have gone pretty much exactly the same. I mean, Red Bull fans might say, oh, the car design's different, so technically you could say the car is, the livery is a bit different. It's a bit different, okay. But it's exactly the same colour, exactly the same style. It's just lazy, like I said. So Red Bull, 8th. P7. P7, I've gone with Aston Martin. They've done it pretty much the same livery as last year, which wasn't that, it was actually quite good. I quite liked the Aston Martin livery last year. There's a bit more black, but as you can see in the photo... It's, it's still a very, very nice green colour, but because it's the same as last year, I have to put it 7th. I can't put it any higher, because other cars and other teams have done better. P6. So P6 is Williams. They've done something a bit different with their car. They've gone for a darker blue, which is probably a quite a nice step. I, quite, I really like how the dark blues um, sort of goes into the light blue, how they sort of merged together. I think that's really nicely done. There's a bit more black, but that's the theme with all the cars in general now. And, you know, it, you have to accept it. I wish there was a rule. If it was up to me, there would be a rule on how much paint you have to put on the car. But sixth is going for Williams with their new darker, but still very nice car. P5. So P5, I have gone with Stake F1 team. So I think the livery, controversial opinion, is actually extremely nice. I really like the green. We haven't seen such a, a lime, sort of vibrant green on the on an F1 car in a while. So I have to give them credit for going up with something different. Obviously, Kick is uh, their main brand is a um, is green. So I have to I have to give it to them. You know, I think the livery looks really nice. It's just green and black though. I think the black is what's lowered it down the order. But obviously, like I said, carbon fiber, you know, saving those, shaving those extra bit of weight, saving a couple milli tenths probably overall on the car might be a bit worth it. We'll see when the season arrives. P4. P4, I've gone with McLaren. I think the early launch really, really was quite, quite something, to be honest. No one was expecting it. And they just launched the car. They just did a new livery. So that was certainly something new. But, but I feel that... They're not, they could be higher up this list. I think the orange, once again, a really nice orange. McLaren always seem to do some very solid liveries. Hopefully we can see some nice special liveries like the Monaco 2021 they did. But McLaren, black and orange, they've, they've done it well. They have done it well. You have to give it to McLaren. They have done it extremely well. So I'm going with uh, fourth for McLaren. P3. So P3, I have gone with Visa Cash App RB. So their livery, no black at all. It was a relief for the whole F1 community when they, when they when they launched this livery. It was like the Toro Rosso that everyone loved. And what they lost for in the name, they've certainly made up for in the livery. That is one of my favourite liveries as it's up here in P3. And I really, really think it's going to the hearts of every single Alpha Tauri, Yuki Tsunoda and Daniel Ricciardo. And obviously Toro Rosso fans hearts so i think it's really really nice addition i'm excited to see it on track for pre-season testing and for bahrain so p3 is visa cash up rb p2 so p2 i've gone with scuderia ferrari and 
Wow, can we just appreciate for a minute how well the yellow does goes with the with the car I, I think it goes really well it'd be nice to see a yellow nose but you have to stick with what you got and when this car launched it was my favorite livery so far it, I just loved how it just it just felt different it was a brighter red it was just bolder it was it gave you the impression that Ferrari were gonna fight this year but I hope if signs a cup win or something in his last season with the Scuderia I think it was really unfair about Hamilton Going to Ferrari, obviously great driver Lewis Hamilton and it is his decision, but kicking out Carlos Sainz and not even really giving him a warning, it came as a surprise to him as much as anyone, according to him. So, I feel for Sainz, I really do. Hopefully he can have an, a good uh, F1 career post his Ferrari days, but he has had a very good stint at Ferrari. And it's sad to see that come to an end, but back to the delivery, absolutely love it. The yellow, the nose looks different, a bit more elongated. They got one of the different design concepts to everyone else, including Red Bull, which is going to be very interesting to see that going forward, whether they can find the performance to make up for not having the two push rods. We'll find out then. But now let's move on to P1. And it will not come as a shock to you that Mercedes is my favourite livery, not just because they're my favourite team, but also because I love they've combined the 2022 Mercedes and the 2023 Mercedes into one and it looks absolutely beautiful. The silver arrows have added a bit of black to their car. I love how the silver at the front is sort of separate from the black on the side which is obviously carbon fibre probably but you just can't tell. You just can't tell. It could be paint. It probably is fibre but it just looks really good and I'm super excited in Hamilton's final year at Mercedes to have a sort of combination of full Lewis's cars into one for his last year at Mercedes. I'm super excited to see Hamilton's last year at Mercedes. He's going to give it everything, obviously. He said he's going to give it everything. And let's hope he can finish on a high. And let's hope Mercedes can fight with Red Bull. Be it for this video. Comment down below your own rankings for the liveries. I'd love to know them. Make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and want to see more F1 related content. I'm going to try and do some more IRL videos up in the future. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.